Thanks for the host, Bad Quinn. Have you been streaming, Bad Quinn? I haven't seen you on. Jimmy and the Pulsating Mass. I don't know what it is. We're doing an itch.io mostly games marathon. No, that's because I was tabbed out of it. Now it's fine. Jimmy in the pulsating mass. Open your eyes. Open your eyes. It's too early to say good night. The sun is up. It's day outside. It's too early to say good night. It's our second solid white screen of the day. Oh, good. It's gone a lot faster than the last one. Holy shit. Oh, hi, Helga. What a sleepy boy. Thought you were gonna sleep all day. Wouldn't that be a shame? Today's a special day. Do you know why? It's another day I can spend with you. Oh my god. We're gonna do lots of fun things today, but first, you better get up or I won't be able to move my legs anymore. Phew. I've been sitting way too long. Better pick up the pace. Oh ho ho ho. Race your home, squirt. What? C and X. Really? See what this is. I am eight years old. I like video games, coloring, and mom, dad, Buck, and Uncle Lars. Is this RPG Maker? Probably. Hi, Buck. I wouldn't be here if mom didn't kill me into it. Don't look at me like that. I'm hitting the weights after this. You should too, punk. Sounds like Smitty. Hello, Jimmy. Did you know that polyacrylic crystals take several millennia to exasperate? And who knows how long for one of this size. Yet this one seems to be supported on this newly formed cloud bridge. Yeah, add it to these nuts. <laughs> Uncle Lars is a lot of fun at Christmas. What are you doing, Lars? Hey, Jumbo. Me? Just taking a break. Seems like a good place as any. Right out today, huh? All right, there we go. What a slow poke. Your lucky second prize is a cake. <gasps> no, I don't. 
Your father say anything about the new doghouse? No? It's a surprise for all of us. Hopefully they'll put a cat in it. Your father's allergic to dogs, cats, dust bunnies, pollen, shellfish, cedar. Most everything. Maybe he's on some new medication. If we're getting a dog, you better think of a cool name. I think the best name for a dog is Sparkles. Yeah, I don't think so. Let's eat some cake. Yeah, get cracking. Why is my dad a nerd? Ooh, hot out. Oh, honey bear. Ew. So proud of you. Did you already have a dog picked out or can we get one as a family? Oh, I want Sparkles to be a big fluffy one. As much as I enjoy your maculations, Lemon Drop, I'm afraid I don't know what you're talking about. You didn't build the doghouse? What doghouse? You know I'm allergic to carpentry. The one right outside our front door. Oh, I didn't see it. Must have been thinking about something. I love how absent-minded you can get sugar kisses. Oh my god, stop. How about you head to your room and get ready for some... adult fun time. Gross. Ahem, <laughs> if you'll excuse me. I still want to make your favorite cake, but I'm all out of honey. I normally don't ask you to do stuff like this, but you've been getting stronger lately and I know I can count on you. <laughs> it's true, one day, Buck. Jimmy might just be stronger than you. Yeah, right. Don't listen to him, he's a grumpy Gus. Maybe the grumpiest Gus I've ever met. Your father and I have had long talks about changing his name to Gus. Let me let me tell you. Jimmy, I need you to be a big boy and get some Buddy Bee honey from Giant Garden. It's a long journey. I know it'll be hard sometimes, but I know I can count on you because you're smart and kind and tough. If things get too hairy, your big brother Buck will be right there to help you out. Hi, Josh. Screw that. He needs to learn to fend for himself. Buck, you listen up. Your brother is still growing up. He might be small now, but he's going to work and work and work because that's the kind of person he is. But right now, he needs your help. I'm not going. How about Jenny, Jimmy helps you clean your room first? You know, like I asked you to do weeks ago? After you left those plates in there for so long, there's that thing growing there? Doing all right. Fine. I can see my things my way here, Jimmy. I made you a snack in case you get hungry. Ants on a log. Beautiful. What a baby. And you know how cranky you can get when you're hungry, Buck, so here's a protein-packed superfood for you. Ants on a log. What? Alright. I'll go to the stupid beehive to get some stupid honey. From some stupid bees. But you better pull your own weight, nerd. Hi, Jimmy. Thanks for the raid. How's it going? This is Uncle Lars. He snagged a near mint copy of Cyborg Ninja Street Force Brawlers online the other day. Beautiful. See Bob's hello. Welcome on in. This is Jimmy and the Pulsating Mass. Which basically means Earthbound, I guess. I don't know. Oh, is this my room? It's an open window. Is this my room or Buck's room? I mean, it's got a toy box, but it's also got a gun poster and a babe. It is Jimmy, yes. Well, 
Hello? The fuck is this room? <laughs> is mom leaving? Got the bathroom. Well, you heard mom. Get to work, nerd. Where are you? Seems to be growing from something. Do you want to smell it? Sure. Ugh, smells like old garbage and gym shoes. Do you want to touch it? Okay. Uh-oh, it didn't seem to like that. Fresh. Kill it. Imagine it. I don't have any imagination. <laughs> Josh tried out V V V V V V V V V. Yeah, it's fantastic. I don't think Jimmy's even played V to the twelfth power yet. Wait, nerd bash? Bully him! P pushes the enemy around while mocking them. Okay. Alright, more nerd bash. Okay, that's uh... Utilize your brawn to hide your low self-esteem. 150% physical damage. Insult. Target an enemy's feelings. Startle the target for one turn. In a range. In a rage. Attack plus 50% but you can't control your actions. Max combo. Alright, let's insult them. Resorts to petty name calling. Alright. Regular attacks. More bullying. I have a tattoo of it on my arm right here, Jimmy. It might be good. Or maybe I have terrible taste. Jimmy imagines himself in school. He doesn't look like himself today. He looks like a big, green, gross blob. But he doesn't care. He's happy this way. He's making fart noises by pushing his slime around. The teacher has stopped talking and is staring at him. Jimmy doesn't care. He thinks it's hilarious. The other kids are laughing too. This makes Jimmy really happy. The teacher is asking him to leave for being disruptive. When Jimmy gets up, he rips one for real. Oh man, it's ripe. The room is soon filled with toxic gas. The children are clamoring for the door. The teacher is screaming. <laughs> the wallpaper begins to peel. Jimmy belches out a laugh and goes to play outside with his friends, but no one will get near him anymore. Jimmy finds a nice cozy hole in a tree and squeezes inside. This is like Jimmy McGinger's life story. Jimmy can now turn into a revolting blob. As a revolting blob, Jimmy can utilize the power of being universally hated to force monsters to fight him. He can also squeeze into tight spaces they otherwise wouldn't be able to. Hello, information guy. Just make sure you get all the trinkets. You gotta get all the shiny trinkets, Josh. Shiny trinkets are no nuts. Make sure you explore your ship thoroughly and talk to everybody multiple times throughout the playthrough. 
There are things to discover in the ship. You might be asking yourself, why would Jimmy want to turn into that? Well, let me tell you something, Buster. There are tons of worse things one could turn into. Like a bug, or a doorstop, or a stray hair that falls under your shirt and makes your back itch. Ugh. That's not important. Let's talk about Jimmy. Jimmy has the power of empathy. This means he can feel the way other things feel, including that poor revolting blob you just walloped. Jimmy can now access the imagination section of the menu. I think it opens up a little bit, Josh, maybe. Jimmy can now access the imagination section of the menu. There you can equip skills that you learn from winning battles and gaining experience. No, it just stars Jimmy McGinger. In addition to reg regular experience points, you'll gain imagination experience for whichever form you finish a battle with. By leveling each of Jimmy's forms, you gain abilities that you can equip in the imagination menu. Most of the skill equipment slots can only be used in Jimmy's normal form, but skills equipped to the starred slots can be used no matter what Jimmy is transformed into. Shut up, nerd. Jimmy can also use field actions when he is transformed. How do you do it? It's easy. Just press the field action button. Default A. You can change the controls and other options by pressing F1. If you want to transform into a different form, just call up the transformation ring. You can change into any of Jimmy's forms. Ah. Right now, Jimmy only has two different forms, but this is just the start of your adventure. Imagine all the fun things you can be. You'll have a jowl jiggling good time. Jowl jiggling. Now that's a good compound adge adjective. Adjective. My dad used to make fun of me for liking compound adjectives so much, but if we're being candid here, he was a head scratchingly bad father. Truth is, I'm the kind of guy who just likes a good hyphen. He never accepted that part of me. That's okay. Sometimes we got to be bullheaded in this rock trap river we call life. What about you? Do you like hyphens? Or do you call them dashes? I'm a hyphen kind of guy myself. I'm not about to fault you for being a dash man. <laughs> oh, hello. Didn't see you there. Do you have any strong opinions on punctuation? <laughs> Is he dead? <laughs> No, I'm good. I'm a fan of Buck. Don't touch my stuff. Can I not be this hideous blob? They're all locked. I get to be the blob for a while. Hello. When you get back, let's watch some more Battle Girl Maiko. I'm not much of a betting man, but I think Devilina has a real shot at taking over the universe now that her dark energy ray is almost complete. Let me know if you run out of snacks, buddy. I'll hook you up. I don't think Uncle Lars is racist. I think he's, uh, I think he's pretty cool. Hey, that was a dog in there. <laughs> I saw it. How you doing, Math Monkey Man? I mean, yeah, I, I don't like reading out loud. That's the problem.
Hello, information guy. Noticing strange punctuation marks lately. If you see a red one, it means an enemy counter is unavoidable. Green one, then your level is high enough to avoid the encounter. Just press cancel or transformation menu buttons to skip the encounter. If you press the confirm button, you'll trigger the fight. Fresh! You got knocked the fuck out. Damn. Five dollars found. Level up the sky. Toy box. Emergency exit. Well, I think this game is fantastic. But I should probably play uh, Earthbound first, you know? Hylix? Sounds familiar. Ow. It counter hurt. It's not earthbound, but it's exactly like earthbound. I don't think I have any healing magic. Just use that. Using transformations. I can squeeze into tight places. Alright. Hello. What a catastrophe. Hey, it's Mr. Marvelous. Some angry looking men have blocked the bridge, and there's nothing we can do. That's what I would be saying if I weren't so marvelous. <laughs> Already concocted a marvelous plan that can't possibly fail. However, I'm afraid I lost an integral part of my plan on the way down here. If you happen to come across three balloons, make sure to bring them here. Three balloons. Got it. So I love this game, and I will absolutely do a full playthrough of this video game one day. After I play Mother and Earthbound and maybe even Mother 3. Let me look at this Hylix thing. Yes. I did play Hylix. I did not get very far. I have it on Steam. I got slapped the fuck around. The battle music in this is some of the best battle music I have ever heard in my life. Like, wow, man. 
It's so fresh. I don't know what Earthbound Beginnings is, but there's a fan translation of Mother on the Super Nintendo out there anyway. We got one balloon! I will definitely change the controls when I play through this. Be Wazda and my arrow keys will be my confirm and cancel probably, I don't know. Maybe I could play it with a controller. This doesn't seem like the kind of game that would have controller support, but you know, if it did, that would be definitely preferred. Fresh. Jimmy and the pulsating mass. We're doing an itch.io games marathon. This is a, you know, fan made little indie game. But the writing is really good. The music is really good. I am perfectly fine with the art. It's got style and shit. I mean, it's like, you know. The biggest love letter to Earthbound ever. I think it's fantastic though. <clears throat> I think I need to download this soundtrack. I'm not going to say slaps or bangs, okay? It doesn't slap. It's not a banger, okay? We could say jams. We could say dope. Please. No slaps and no bangs, all right? I'm proud of you, chat, for not going there already. RPG maker? Smacks is okay. <laughs> Can we kill Nimbus first? Nimbus is annoying with the startling shit. Sticky Phlegm. Damage enemy lower agility by 50%. Poisonous Scum. Undulate, waver your gelatinous body temptingly. All enemies attack you for five turns. Or reconfigure your body structure to a solid state guard with 100%, 150% more defense and magic defense. How about some toxic sludge? Nerd bash. Let's bully her. Bully that bitch. Ew, take that poison! Alright, we can just like execute, not do anything. And the poison will probably kill it. Yeah, there you go. It had counters though. This game fucking smacks. <laughs> yes, it does. <laughs> Oh, is the same as Hylix and Lisa? Got it, Dragon. I will check that out. Is my internet working well enough to do another game? I think it might be. I think I want to do one more today.
Got another balloon. A red one. Is that you, Daddy? The internet was trash for a while. I think it's a little better now. Let's do one more game. Shut down. 